There are six hidden cameras in this room. Can you spot them? You know what? There is one right there. Unsuspecting people are getting secretly recorded during their most private moments. There were 18 videos of me and then like screenshots and snapshots. I was completely nude. We're exposing a hidden bathroom camera in Tampa that's never been reported on until now. I don't know why on earth someone would have something pointed towards a toilet. We'll show you how to spot hidden cameras and protect your privacy. Let's see what's brewing. Hey, I'm Jenna Bourne, and I'm an investigative reporter at 10 Tampa Bay. If you're new here, welcome to our caffeine-fueled deep dive into issues that matter to you. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. I got like all the way into the shower and still wasn't undressed because I was, that's kind of when I started to process it. Um, and at that point, that's when I started feeling like I had eyes on me like 24 seven. Being secretly recorded can affect someone's sense of safety for years. We're gonna tell you about her story in a minute, but first I wanted to tell you about why I started looking into hidden cameras in the first place. This all started when I uncovered a hidden camera investigation here in Tampa that no one has reported on before. A worker found a camera in a Tampa VA employee bathroom disguised as a phone charger. I found out about it because I was looking through records related to a whistleblower complaint against the Tampa VA for something totally unrelated and just jumped out at me like, what? This happened in October, 2020. How did nobody report on this? And it's weird because when I started calling employees who work in the unit of the VA where the whistleblower claims it was found, they were all directing me to the public affairs office. And I thought it was a little unusual that they were all saying the same thing. So I sent a little public records request and sure enough, the Tampa VA sent this email to its staff days after I started asking questions, telling them, if a media representative reaches out to an employee, they are under no obligation to respond and should refer inquiries to the PAO. Anyway, I did get the VA to confirm to me that an employee found the camera disguised as a phone charger in a co-ed staff restroom, and VA police identified three people who'd been recorded on the memory card inside. The VA Office of the Inspector General closed this case in April 2021. Neither the VA OIG nor the Tampa VA will come out and say no one was ever caught, but the U.S. Attorney's Office confirms it's never charged anyone for this, so yeah that weirdo is probably still out there. I just think that's absolutely absurd. And that's pretty upsetting to people like Emily Ashman. Her high school fashion design teacher secretly recorded her in this changing room. For those people who have been recorded, it's like the worst feeling to, I mean, with me, I knew who it was, so I knew who to like project my anger towards, but for them, I mean, that's just like a complete utter, like that would just take it all out of me to, to not even know. Ashman was recorded by her teacher, Mark Ackett, at Bloomingdale Senior High, a Hillsborough County public school in Valrico. We got these images from the state attorney's office showing Ackett's cameras hidden in cardboard boxes with holes cut out. 125 students and one staff member were recorded. Do you feel comfortable telling me what was in the videos? Yeah, so I mean, I was completely nude um, because it was a fashion design class. So we literally sewed our own clothes and made clothing. Um, and he had a fitting room, fitting room. It was like the storage closet in a teacher's classroom that everybody went in there to try on their pieces, make sure it was fitting. So I would alter all of my swimsuits. So, I mean, that was all in there of me trying on all of my swimsuits, all of my like assignments. And I even changed in there for um, like cheer practice. So as far as that, I mean, completely changing from like regular bra to sports bra, you know, shorts, um, all of that. So it sounds like this was a place where you felt safe and comfortable. Yeah, um, that's the unfortunate part of it. I would like to say first to the victims, I'm truly sorry for what I did and for the pain that it caused you and still causes you. Thanks in part to the bravery of students like Ashman who worked with law enforcement and spoke out in court. It is time for you to finally face the consequences and pay for the permanent distress that we all face every day. Mark Ackett was sentenced to 15 years in prison. We asked the Hillsborough County State Attorney's Office for the number of people charged with video voyeurism in the past five years, and their data shows it doubled between 2019 and 2020. Why do you think that is? 
People are bored and weird. Um, you know, right? <laughs> no, um, Tell us how you really feel. Yeah. That's Matt Aubin. He's a cyber intelligence specialist. It's his job to find hidden cameras, and business um, is good. Honestly, I think it's the availability of, of high quality equipment at really, really, really cheap prices. You said that they doubled, but that's just the ones that were actually caught and the ones that were reported. We work a lot of cases to where our clients don't want that information reported. How often are you getting calls from people concerned about hidden cameras? I probably get anywhere from three to 10 every single day of the week. In 2017, vacationers found hidden cameras disguised as smoke detectors in a Longboat Key condo they rented on Airbnb. In 2018, police say this guy used a hidden camera to secretly record two people in a Clearwater Anytime Fitness bathroom. That same year, this maintenance worker was accused of hiding cameras above the ceiling tiles in two restrooms at a Pinellas Park office building. In 2019, this man was arrested after a woman caught him recording her on his phone under a changing room door at a Tampa Target. On Valentine's Day in 2021, a customer at a Lakeland Circle K found an iPhone in an envelope hidden under the sink while she was in the restroom. So how do you spot a hidden camera? We put six in this kitchen and put Matt Aubin to work. So Matt, we've got six cameras hidden in this kitchen. And what I'd like you to do for us is just kind of walk us through how you would go about looking for those hidden cameras. Okay. So I'm just gonna step yeah. out of the way and let you do your thing. All right. So. I've never been in this kitchen before and I don't have any of my equipment with me. So I've got $45,000 worth of detection equipment in the car. But for the purpose of this, we're really just trying to see what do you do if you don't have that equipment and you're really just going on the, the training or instincts alone. So as I'm walking in, I see that hook over there, which these are actually really commonly used um, to have cameras in them. You see that tiny little discrepancy right there. That's usually a really quick giveaway to be able to find um, that there's a camera or something off base with that. So I would definitely say that that's one. Another thing that I often look for are unused electronics. This standard AC-DC adapter um, has a camera lens right here. It really also has no business being here without a cord or without something that's connected to it. I've also noticed we've got two basically clock radios in here. Uh, this one appears to have a camera right here in the middle of it. This makes five clocks in this kitchen. You already have three of them built in. Unless you're just super obsessed with time for some reason, you don't need that many. So it causes suspicion to go looking for those. This clock, I don't necessarily see a lens. Again, I'm not using any equipment or anything else, but the adapter that it's plugged into does have a camera in it. Um, right in the middle, if you just look and see above that. This smoke detector, it's not in a normal place for a detector. It is in a kitchen, um, but it does appear to have um, a camera lens within it. When you open it up, um, it doesn't have the typical components of a smoke detector within it. It's actually got um, spots for uh, SD cards and other memory. Well, you typically aren't gonna need um, a USB-C charger or an SD card in a normal smoke detector. Most people have changed smoke detector batteries before, so you know what you're looking at if you look inside one as to whether or not something looks a little bit off. Any fire um, smoke detector that I've ever seen has a test button on it. This one doesn't, and it's not a name brand. I found five out of six so far, and honestly, I'm struggling to find the last one without being able to use any of my equipment as a crutch. You were very warm <laughs> because you, you spotted this clock but you said that you didn't find a lens on it, but this actually is. It does have one on it? Mm -hmm. Ah, there is one right there. Aubin recommends unplugging and removing anything you're not sure about. You're really just looking for anomalies that don't add up and then just giving them a little bit of a closer look. What's your message to people who think this couldn't happen to them? It's hard because beforehand, that was never a thought that ever went through my head in a dressing room, at a store, in a mall. Never once did I think of something like that. I don't, I just feel like people don't really think like that unless it has happened to them because now it's something I think about everywhere I go. It can happen um, and it'll happen in a circumstance where you least expect it. Thanks for watching What's Brewing. Subscribe so you don't miss an episode and I'll see you next time.